Hey guys, this is Dave. I'm at the uh, American Choral Directors Association convention in Kansas City. Um, and we opened last night with a pre-conference concert. Um, so, so much has happened already and the conference hasn't even started yet. Uh, this this concert was at the, uh, the new Kaufman Center, uh, which is a performing arts center here in Kansas City, not too far from the Marriott Hotel where I'm staying. Um, uh, the concert featured four local choirs. All of them were uh, amazing. Um, the first one uh, was called Allegro, and they're at a, a uh, children's choir from uh, young children in first first grade or so through uh, junior high school. Um, and it started with uh, one boy soprano, this treble singing uh, a, a line, and then two other solo voices joining him and with a piano accompaniment. And then all of the, uh, the rest of the choir sort of came on stage so uh, behind them, so you didn't even notice that they were there. You were focused on these soloists. And the, and the boy, I mean, he was this, tiny little skinny geek with glasses too big for his head and uh, he made the most amazing sound. Um, I think I, I'm one of the best uh, trebles I've ever heard. Uh, just amazing. And um, the song was uh, Common Threads, which is a text about uh, connectedness, I guess, and uh, how we're all diverse, but yet we come together. Um, the second group was uh, <clears throat> Cantorai, Kansas City, and it's a uh, sort of semi-professional uh, group that does a lot of uh, acapella, it's all acapella music, contemporary scores. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, that's where usually I would find my interest niche, but actually, uh, they were an, the least engaging of the four choirs for me this time. So that's interesting to see. Um, and then the third group was called uh, the Ordained Gospel Choir, and uh, they were just amazing. Um, uh, all the arrangements were uh, sort of extemporaneous uh, in the gospel tradition, and... Uh, I don't know, there was one piece where it was a slow, slow thing that built and built and built, but at the beginning, um, there were two chords that oscillated back and forth with the text uh, that the choir sang, and then there were soloists who had, well, I don't know, 10 or 12 soloists who had uh, just little, um, you know, gospely, bluesy um, riffs that they would improvise uh, softly so that you had this whole texture that was um, sort of uh, heterophonous and, uh, and extemporaneous. And then underneath that was a very solemn drum beat, one to the bar. And um, it made me think about uh, texts that I've read um, from plantation owners talking about the music that the slaves would sing uh, and how strange and haunting it is. Um, and that moment, I think, maybe in some way captured what that might have been like. Um, it, just beautiful. And, uh, and deep, because of the origins of the music that I've just described. Um, and then the, the last group was the Heartland Gay Men's Chorus. Uh, and uh, it, they did a variety of stuff. And so I found myself sitting there listening to a hundred gay men sing Thomas Tallis's If Ye Love Me, which I've, you know, it's this class piece of church music that uh, I've done many, many times, uh, but I didn't expect to hear that from them, uh, and uh, it was it was great. Uh, many, many wonderful moments in this concert. Um, 
for very different styles and groups of people. Um, and I think that's uh, partly what makes choral music so great uh, is that it comes from so many little uh, pieces of our culture, but we fit all together in the, the idea of the common threads. Um, and there was uh, a little keynote uh, talk at the beginning from the president of the ACDA, and in it uh, she mentioned this one little tidbit that uh, just blew me away. Um, uh, she said that in uh, Britain, scientists have discovered that um, when choirs sing together, uh, their heart rate beats at the same time. You know, they, they're all breathing together and they're singing this music as one, one thing and their heart rates um, literally beat as one. They sync up. I thought that was just like poof. So uh, uh, here, uh, we're about to start the first day, so I'll have an, another vlog uh, later this evening.